everyone, what's going on? I'm Allie, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a super quick way to remove plosives, which are those popping, low-end thumps or quick bursts of air sounds you get in dialogue sometimes with words that start with a P or have a P sound, a F sound, or a B sound. If you're new here, we have over 60 other filmmaking tutorials on our Allie and Will YouTube channel, and we release new videos weekly. So check them out and subscribe if you're into editing, shooting tutorials, and film gear reviews. Okay, we're in Adobe Edition, and let's listen to just how annoying those pop bursts of air are. It's pretty popular. It's pretty popular. It's pretty popular. Yikes. Yeah, those are annoying and we want them gone. You can spot plosives pretty easily. They look like spikes in your waveform. Here's one here. We're going to use our time selection tool here. And if you can't see your tools for some reason, go up to window and make sure tools is selected. Cool. So with the time selection tool, select your entire clip. Go up to effects, filter and EQ, FFT filter, and click on the preset drop down menu to select kill the mic rumble. I have loop turned on, so let's listen a few times to how this effect sounds, and I'm gonna toggle it on and off so you can hear the difference it's made. It's pretty popular, 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 it's pretty popular. Okay, Kill the Mic Rumble has done a pretty great job at reducing the plosives. Let's click Apply. Awesome. We can now see in the waveform that the plosives have been reduced. I want to clean these plosives up a little bit more. To do that, I'll use the Show Spectral Frequency Display to get a better view of the specific area of audio I want to affect. And the tool to choose is the Spot Healing Brush, which allows us to paint out the unwanted audio, just like if you were working in Photoshop and you'd use the Spot Healing Brush to remove a blemish. The pop burst of air lives in the lower frequencies. So let's first change the size of our spot healing brush, which we can do by using the left bracket key on our keyboard to decrease the size or the right bracket key to increase the size. And we'll paint over a small portion of this audio. You don't want to get carried away. I know the other plosive is over here. So I'll spot heal this area of the audio as well. Let's play it back. It's pretty popular. 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 Awesome. So there you go. Using the kill the mic filter and then the spot healing brush for those individual adjustments removes those annoying plosives and will make your dialogue sound better. And we have over 60 other filmmaking tutorials that you can learn from. So subscribe to see those videos and more from us next week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.